So we'll go ahead, it's after 5.30, so we'll, we'll sorry for the delay, we'll, we'll uh, open the hearing. Um, and uh, I'm David Bloomberg, with me is Maureen Scanlon, Elizabeth Silver, Sarah Northrup, and Carolyn Mish from the City of Northampton Office of Planning and Sustainability. Um, we always open first uh, for any public comment, if there's any member of the public here who wanted to address the board that, that in a way that does not relate to an application before. So you're here with your application. Mm -hmm. Okay, so seeing nobody, I'll move on. And we'll go ahead and hear the application for a commercial finding submitted by Scott Kiter to expand a non-conforming residential use on the first floor at 63 Maple Street, Florence, BAP ID 23A-61. A notice of this hearing was published on June 25th and July 5th. And I'll ask you uh, just to, I guess there's no microphone today, right? So, but I guess if you could still come up to the podium sure. just so we can hear you a little better. Sure. And, and I'll just ask for your name and address for the record that Carol Sure, my name is Jill Kiter. Scott unfortunately couldn't be here. He had another planning board meeting he had to be at for okay. our business, which is a construction business. Um, so I live, I reside in Northampton, 51 Hatfield Street. Mm -hmm. And if you could just give a brief description of the request, the application, please. So the application is um, to convert an existing commercial unit back to residential. So it would be um, an extension of a non-conforming. We purchased the building on Florence, in Florence on Maple Street. It's a small house that has um, on the first floor a commercial unit, a residential unit, and then on the second floor a residential unit. The commercial unit has been vacant for over a year. It was a hair salon. Is that American Hairlines? American Hairlines, yeah, which I guess dates back quite a ways. Yes, it does. Um, but it's been vacant for some time. Scott and I just purchased the building and um, originally were set out to keep it commercial but have been well advised by many and mostly our contacts at Rent NoHo that commercial in Florence is very difficult to fill. That would probably behoove us to stay residential when you look at the building, it's a small house. Um, and we did originally have concerns having a commercial unit up against a, a residential unit. Just smells, daily activity, things like that. So it's our hope that you'll allow us to bring it back to residential to make it into three separate uh, units. We have off-street parking in the back. We have parking, two parking spaces per unit for each unit. Um, we've done a lot of exterior renovations, bringing things up to code, interior as well, electrical, even the front porch, just main, you know, cleaning the landscaping up around the building, putting up code compliant mailboxes, et cetera. So really just trying to improve the curb appeal of it and hopefully be able to improve the interior and make it into a, a one bedroom unit, residential unit at the home. Okay, good, thank you. Questions? So it's not owner-occupied, right? It is not, no. However, the two residents are occupied. There's two tenants in there right now. They came with the building. And the intention is to rent it, not Airbnb it? No, yes, yes, to rent it full-time. No Airbnb. Just, just checking. I haven't the time for that. <laughs> Although Northampton doesn't really have regs on Airbnb. And this is yeah, a commercial anyway. district, so. It, yeah. It wouldn't Any be prohibited. Use, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be prohibited. Right. No, but I was just curious. curious. Yeah. <laughs> The line is right in our driveway, commercial to residential. So in the house, to the left of us is the fire department, to the right of us is a multi-unit um, apartment building, so. Okay. I don't have any questions. Any, anything, any other questions? No. Nothing? That's complete. Good. Sarah? Um, you do the drawing? We had an architect do it, Jody Barker, he's local. Saw the initial J. Oh no. <laughs> so um, so it looks good from the outside. I noticed it. Oh, you did good. Okay. And um, so it looks like your work outside is finishing up. Have you done the inside work yet? We have not. We're in limbo right now, kind of waiting for all of this to happen. We've torn down what we we've demoed what we can, and we're like I said, in limbo. We've done some electrical enough mm -hmm. to where we could go either way with it right mm -hmm. now so mm -hmm. so this is more on the curiosity level but i notice in your plan you're removing in this in this space that you're proposing you're removing an upstairs bathroom and just 
having a bathroom on the first floor? Well, yes, yeah, so we there was a half bath on the first floor, which was tiny in a closet, and a full bath upstairs that was well dated. So what we've done is we're going to put the full bathroom downstairs. If it were to go commercial, it would be ADA compliant. Um, that's the reason to bring the bathroom downstairs. I have no that's it. Um, uh, I guess I guess we can uh, have an, entertain a motion to if we don't think we need any more information to close the. Public well, I just had, I, well, I had a question for Carolyn. Um, I, here, the notes suggest and the report suggests that residential uses are only allowed above the first floor. So how do we get around that? Well, that's why the, the, this pro, pro, project is in front of you because it's already there's a residential Which unit on the first floor. It's an expansion, not conforming. Okay, so it's an expansion of that ground floor because already on the left side of the building it's residential. It's residential. Yeah. Okay, so it's just sort of pushing so, it over. I just wanted to make sure that yeah, yeah. yeah that's. I'll go with Seller. Good. Okay. And another kind of question: Should they choose at some point to go back to having one of those units be commercial? Would they? I mean, is, what are, what's, what are the implications of this? Nothing. They they could convert. The, well, the only implication would be a building code implication, really, right. so that um, making sure those are things are in place. But it would be allowed by right. Because it's a commercial yeah. distance. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, reason I know American Airlines was because. Once on July 4th, yeah. my daughter had a hair emergency, and it was the big one, oh. meaning the entire right side of her head hair was a knot on the whole side of her head. <laughs> and this very sweet lady at American Airlines opened up for us on July 4th. We had never been there before. Oh. We were calling around, will anyone be open? It was the big one. And she, oh. <laughs> she carefully oh, did surgical. <laughs> Anyway, mm -hmm. that was a digression. So um, I guess we, we can have a motion to close the, the public hearing. So moved. Second. Second in favor. It's unanimous. And then a motion on the actual request. Does anybody need this? Or do you sure. Do that um, yes, I, I move that we approve the um, application for the to expand the non-conforming residential use at 63 Maple Street, Florence, MAP ID 23A61. I'm not sure. Oh, should it be the three? Yes, yeah, I guess it it, since we have three full members. We'll oh, so second. Sir, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. second. Okay, all in favor. Okay, that's unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very uh, much. I wasn't telling you. It's looking really nice. <laughs> Thank you. And Thank you. Know, you. This is this is, is the tighter construction that does all the work at Smith, right? Yes, we yeah, do they, a lot they, of work really there. We're very very lucky to work with Smith College. Yeah, no, I know. You did. Oh, Jody, you know. Jody lives around the corner. Oh, so I mean, you know. I don't have to tell you. Oh, you know. I've seen you. And do you live in Florence? I live on the street. Oh, yeah. He yeah. lives on my street. He came in last, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I've, I've seen your truck around working on his. So, yes, yeah, yeah. Jody is, um, is great. He's become a good friend of ours as well. He was a great client and, and he's branched out to go on his own. And right. so we kind of help each other out a little bit. And, yeah, he's been and, here a lot lately. What's his last name? Parker. Parker. Oh, right. He was here like, yeah, two, like two weeks week. ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, weeks, yeah two times yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. Good yeah, guy. Great. But thank you. We really yeah, appreciate sure. this. Well, thank, thank you. We appreciate thank what you're doing. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, and I guess no minutes, right? Hey, that's okay. So we don't worry. Oh, I guess we can close, move to close the So moved. Second. Or adjourn, I mean, adjourn. All in favor, unanimous. Good.